Here's the moment. All right, before we watch this, we have to ask, was this a brainchild of someone going into the season? Did it develop throughout spring training? Like, was it there the whole time? So, Scott came, it was uh, our callback camp in, in January and had this whole, like, thing, like, kind of drawn out. Like, like he had the whole visual idea um, with the role, like, he had, like, and the Buzz Ostinato. Like, he had this idea, like, like early on, like, before. Um, so, we knew it was going to go on the show somewhere. We just weren't sure where, and it ended up being... Uh, all this to go, so, which was like the war section uh, of our show, wartime, I guess is what we uh, ended up calling it. Um, so this whole thing is basically supposed to, to basically it morphed into like tanks rolling into France, like German tanks. Like, this was like kind of like the time period that this this was um, referencing in the show with the de Gaulle speech underneath. Mm -hmm. So that as they're as they're winding around and with the roll going up and down, it's supposed to be like 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 tanks rolling in, like like coming into town and then mm -hmm. the next section after this when the full battery adds in it's like you know a battle you know mm -hmm. so, interesting was, I, I was, was... Was... go ahead no, I just originally yes yeah, scott had this idea and he, he ended up using it like as an audition kind of piece for um the snare line something they learned and then like was kind of like a, a little audition um piece for them um before we set the line yeah, I remember when we sampled the drumline early season and we saw that moment, we were like, man, this is just kind of one of those BD moments that's going to take them all summer to figure out. Um, and obviously had a couple different iterations, just what works in the show and on the field and in reality and getting the moment to craft and sound and feel the way we want it to feel. Um, mm. Definitely super challenging with just the dropouts and the add back ends and the individual player responsibility. So. Yeah, I, yeah, that seemed like Plus, as a player but, stressful yeah. in the lot. <laughs> for sure, for sure, and, and it was one of those things where you know sometimes people were getting frustrated, you know, and it was just like, look, like this is one of those moments, like it's we're going to be take... working this every day, like you know. Yep. And there were tweaks, a lot of tweaks that went in, um, ended up like thinning out a lot of the ostinato stuff on the who's the people that weren't playing the role. Well, because there um, were buzz rolls just, going on underneath the role earlier on, yeah. earlier on in the season, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was just trying to, I mean, Scott was really trying to create like a different like texture, you know, like a different sound. Um, but it just never got read correctly. And then mm -hmm. it was like, okay, we just, it's, it's the role is the focus. Let's make it that. And, and so, but the drill kind of stayed for the most part the same, um, which is just crazy in itself. You know, all those listening chain, like the, the oh, role your moving ears around are changing the, way it, the whole time. You have to adjust yeah. every beat pretty much. You're in a different environment. Yeah, we said it from the get-go, like, like Evan said, like, your all's book and this moment in general, I think both of us said on that video, if if they, this is one of those moments that if they make it nails, they will probably win a drum trophy. Because the rest of the show is probably going to be immaculate too. And you all came close. I mean, you were in the top three, I think, by the end, right? On the aggregate. Yeah, we ended up in, we ended up in second in drums. Yeah, second. so almost got there. Like, this, we said it, this is one of those moments that it's a statement. And if it's perfect, it, you're going to get a million times over the credit for it. Yeah. Let's watch it. Yeah. I think I went back far enough. We'll just to be, there we go. This should be good. There we go. The rim and high mom texture is really cool underneath the pods of three. Just the left hand shot statement. Oof, just the contrast. Then you add the integration difficulty on top of it. Just hand speed changes the whole time throughout it, too. All right. That's a that's so, quite a moment. So a few things that yeah. stick out to me before we get into this bass thing. First of all, I was laughing because I was just hearing as they were doing the 
dynamics of that role early on. Just the base hand to hand from one to two. They was just going up and down. I was like, I've never noticed that before. I hadn't either. Uh, but I just actually got Adam. We'll, we'll yeah. go back real quick, Mike, and then I'll I'll jump back to just the beginning or how first, far back is it? Just the beginning of the roll. It stops, but we'll. we'll oh, when they ahead. first go up and down and pulse it up and down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's the very the beginning. And that actually wasn't in there originally. Like that, that's <laughs> was something that Scott added later. Uh, <laughs> but I was just like, wait, what? Just staying in there the whole time. <laughs> All right, here we go. One and two. <laughs> why not that's insane all right all right that's so that, yeah i just want to make sure everybody else kind of caught that too we'll just enjoy this again one more time why not yeah this is, this is a beast. drop the bottom out the full base double at the top of it. Did the base over top that rim shot roll? Yeah, so that whole Did they say big like bong that... at the end of that? Yeah, there's a story behind that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the um, big bong vocal has a story? Yeah, well, so <laughs> there was this part uh, at the well, high school I teach, Logan High School. Like, we had this part at the end of the fall show. It was like this big, that, 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 okay, that, that. And they went, and I said something like, bing bong, one day. And they were like, oh, we should see. It's like, they loved it. <laughs> and they added it in a couple other spots in the show. But everywhere that they added it, it got taken out because mm. they had to do some kind of body with the band. And they were, like, really bummed about it. I was like, don't worry, guys. I'm going to put it in the Blue Devil show somewhere. <laughs> so I ended up putting it in that spot. And they were like, can we say Bing Bong? I'm like, you have to say Bing Bong. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's <laughs> in the music. It's on the sheets. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's just a little the backstory about that. But that whole section with that whole thing, like, like I'm like, but some of the sounds that were created in that, like, I, I'd never heard anything like that. Like, that, that was a like such a crazy section. Like, we first got it. Like, I was like, what the hell is this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, like we're learning it and I'm like, we're like, this is so hard. Like it's like like all the different changing power of the roles, like the dynamics, it's like quads were coming in cold on some of those roles. Like I'll just like cold attacks coming in while you know sections are playing. Like like the level of complexity through that whole thing, like just in the, the beats alone was like some of the hardest stuff I've ever had to teach. Like like it was just crazy. And then we added the, the visual element, like the changing of the the forms, listening situations, going into the poltergeist, then back out into the block. Like it was just hands down, like like the difficulty and simultaneous responsibility was nuts, which which kind of was a little frustrating, you know, because we were not doing well in content. Like, and I'm like, what is happening? Like, what do you mean? Like, okay, sure we're not as clean as these guys that yeah, we know that, but like you can you can literally plug your ears and just watch us do that section and know that we're like the simultaneous responsibility alone was just like nuts. Yeah, so, hearing hearing that with the headphones and just hearing the the dynamic contrast and then like the stereo effect of like the volume like yeah. starting and like pulsating across mm -hmm. the line is pretty it's pretty unique. I've never seen another group do stuff like that besides kind of what yeah. BD uh, can do. I know they've done similar things in some other shows too, just with that sound where it kind of ripples left to right. Almost like you're just panning the audio. <laughs> yeah, it yep. reminded me of, of what they did in 07 when they were snaking through the horn line and playing mm -hmm. the big fiddles yeah, low. Yeah, like yeah. Winged, Victor, yep. Winged Victory Show. Snaking through. Yeah. yeah, but just, I mean, but this one was way more dense than that one. Mm -hmm. There's um, definitely a lot, a, lot of, a lot of meat on the bone, that whole phrase.